Well, welcome. Thank you for coming out. And um, I'm Dr. Denny. I think we're going to have a fun time tonight. We're going to talk about what I do, and I think it's just phenomenal stuff. So I'm going to ask a couple of things. Uh, one, we can turn our phones off for low, so in case someone's got to call you, you can hear the buzz, but you don't hear it interrupt everything. starting off our evening just to get us out of our head. So I'm going to show you uh, a Kabbalistic yoga move. So I'm going to invite you all to stand up and, and do it with me. I'll take my jacket off for this. So this is it's called Ophanim. It's called... Uh, I know what it is. Yeah? Well, almost. Well, so I'm going to show you the, the first letter, the Aleph. And I love it. I just, this is part of what I do for rehab. So I'm going to have you guys to spread out and get a nice white stance. And then for your, your front leg, let your front leg bend. Whichever your front leg is, makes no difference. Put, put your, your front arm on that leg. And that back arm behind you, feel the stretch of your chest there. And you're going to face whatever forward is for you. And then nice deep breath in. And again. And again. Fantastic. So face me, look what people face me, and then we're going to go for the other leg, whatever that other leg is that we didn't stretch. Same thing. Upper hand, the back hand gets stretched out, facing forward. Now, if you have a chance, get that upper body cranked backward, like that. So you get a little more stretch. And a breath in, and out. And out. Great. So, fantastic. So, it like, gets it stretched out. It's one of the fastest, easy stretches. Gets the whole body going. Uh, go ahead, come see. There is one for every level. There is one for every level. That was That's the first standing letter of the album. So our, our, uh, our time tonight, we're going to have three parts. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about who I am and what my health clinic does. And then I'm going to find out who you are. Because obviously you came out because you were curious about who I am. But I also think you came out to see if I can help you, perhaps. So I want to get a little personal. I don't want to just me talking to you about what I think you want to know. I want to know what you want me to know about you. So there will be a question and answer period. That's part two. And then part three is, out of the people who uh, so interview on my question and answer period, if you are courageous enough, I will see if we can initiate some healing miracles right here on this little social dashboard stage, <laughs> if you're curious enough. Uh, so to that end, I know we are audio and video recording this. So, um, if you're going to come up, I need you to make sure that you sign that little release. And if you're, and if you just don't want to, then we probably won't use you as a demonstration person tonight. But we'll take care of you in more of a private setting. Fair enough. So um, my name is Jeffrey Benton, and my mother is right there in the back. Thanks, mom, for coming out. Hello. <laughs> so my my clinic is the Life Touch Healing Center. Um, we do. We work on, on you know, world-class athletes, we work on dancers, um, we work on people with chronic ailments, uh, something like diabetes, people with cancer, and, and we work on anybody who has a spine and is breathing. Now, those are my two basic requirements to, to work on somebody. Um, I created this logo because I feel that we need to, the reason that we don't feel good is because we're out of balance. And so, and this is more of a pyramid. It's like a, I think we can look at a three-dimensional triangle. We have like the back corner. The back corner is the structure. So we have the spine, the, ner the, the nerves, and the muscles. And then we have hydration. 
Now, a lot of people don't talk about how important hydration is, but uh, we'll probably do a demonstration tonight and see how important being properly hydrated really is to healing and to health. On the other corner, we have, we have a plant, and that's to symbolize, you know, well, the food we're eating, but not just the food we're eating, so it can also represent the chemicals that we're eating to nourish us, and also, in a way, the toxins, because we're in, we're living in a world where we're lucky if the organic food we eat is actually pure and healthy and organic, and I'm sure everyone's heard some of these stories. Another, tri another part of our triangle is emotions. Uh, another way to say emotions is auto-suggestion. When we were all growing up, we were all told what is right. And whenever you're young, you believe everything. Everything is, is truth. Because you don't know how to discern truth for not truth. You know, one of the big issues that we're having with, with the Muslim population is those children are being taught you know, what we consider to be hate, but they don't know the difference. Because when they're young, they believe everything is truth. So, but whenever we grow up, maybe that wasn't correct, and or it created a defense mechanism for us to protect ourselves, but when we grow up, we don't really need to have that auto-suggestion running, but it's still running in the background in our subconscious. And we want to clear that, and then we can go on to have a more productive and healthy life. 